New video this morning proves the great whites are still hanging out off the coast of Orange County. And that means people need to stay out of the water. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in San Clemente with the warnings. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff, if you notice, the water is pretty empty behind me. Even a high school surfing class canceled this morning as those beach closure signs went back up at least until noon after some great whites were spotted right off that pier. Yeah, it was big. It's scary. This 10 to 12 foot great white shark caught on video thrashing off the San Clemente Pier this morning. Fisherman Scott West was there as it took their bait. He fought it for about a half hour, and about uh, after about a half hour on his on his big gear, it tired out, and then he was able to cut the line. We saw what it was that it wasn't a mako; it was a great white. So then he. He did a clean cut and then it swam away. And before this one, an even larger shark surprised these fishermen. The guy I'm fishing with saw the first one. He said it might have been up to twice as big. Matt Hughes also saw what he thinks were seven to eight great white sharks off North Beach this morning, taking photos of the dark fins cutting through the waves. My son is not going in the uh, ocean probably for most of the summer. Yeah. A lot of sharks this year. Tons, tons. Lifeguards were out in boats and on jet skis patrolling the waters and telling people to stay out for a second day in a row. Safety first. Beach closure signs were put back up along city beaches. Yesterday, the sheriff's helicopter spotted more than two dozen sharks in a seven mile stretch between San Clemente and Dana Point. Some of those sharks up to 10 feet long and very close to shore. Last month, a shark tore into the thigh of a woman swimming near San Onofre. And the one caught on camera this morning, a good reminder that they're out there. Tons, tons. Scary. What I have seen, a ton of curious onlookers coming down here to see if they see any sharks out there in the water. Again, authorities reminding people it is very rare to actually be bit by a shark. You're more likely to drown out there in the ocean or get pulled away by a rip current. But there's so many, Jeff and Sharon, because of the abundance of food and just the right water temperature. And you know it's a serious situation when the surfers have been kept out of the water and refuse to go in. Because yes. they will go in no matter what. Yeah. Unless there's a what, great white lurking, of course. Two, two dozen's a big number. <laughs> All right. Jasmine, thanks, thanks very much yeah. for that. We